You're simply wrong. If that's what you believe, Pierce, that's it's what fine. I believe. I don't believe in things that take power away. There from is them. not an eminent doctor in the world. Pierce would agree with you. Pierce, do you I, think you know more than doctors? I can't become clinically depressed. Why do you know? Because I don't believe in it. I can't be haunted by a ghost if I don't believe in ghosts. Well, that's like saying I'm never going to die because I don't believe in it. It's ridiculous. Perhaps, but if it allows me to live a life where I feel happy but here's and where you myself. This is, again, this is that little area where it's, you lose me. No, I don't lose you. You want because, because Pierce, somebody with your Pierce, following says the thousands no of people, way. the thousands of people who have emailed me saying my doctor told me I was clinically depressed and it's a disease that I have got in my brain and I can't be fixed. And I started listening to you and I realized that that's not the case and I can fix my own life. And you're the only person who has if ever you, helped me. Oh, right. Thousands of people have emailed. Me that exact think, email. If you think you are single-handedly curing people of clinical depression, you are living in cloud cooking. I am reading the emails of people who I have cured. You're reading emails from people who have believed you when you say there isn't such a thing, and they've probably never been diagnosed with clinical depression. They just want to go along with what Andrew Day says. I don't think so. I and think I think your view of that is that view is dangerous. I, I, I respect that you think my view is dangerous, and I respect you have the right to view that and think that. I think that clinical depression, I actually agree with you, is massively overdiagnosed. I've already said that PTSD is a very real thing. I've already said I didn't